and your boss is just like, yeah, you don't have to come in today, don't worry about it. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone would be like, okay, nice. It's been into sports and activities for me, so this is something I enjoy. I've had clients be like, like how do you do this all day? It's because, well, I like it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Simone, in-home personal trainer. Thanks for stopping by, and for those that are new, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can also check out my website below. There's also some free stuff for you down there, and you can see the description box where there's more information. Number one, I have my own hours. So I can dictate when I want to work, when I don't want to work. In the beginning, this wasn't so much something I had, a, you know, the freedom to do. I kind of had to take clients as I got them. But now I definitely have that ability to make my own schedule. Number two, it is a positive environment. There's nothing like, you know, working alongside people who also want to do something positive for themselves and for others because it's just very uplifting, right? It's very different, let's say, from working at a bank, you know? It's a little bit more strict there versus personal training, everyone's bubbly, there's music playing, you know, you're trying to work on yourself and you're trying to help others. It's a very fun, positive environment. Number three, the transformations. You can see my testimonials and transformations at, on my website in the description box below as well as the reviews. Um, but yeah, you can really transform people's lives to the point that you don't even realize how huge an impact it has and that's always nice. Number four, there's no vacation limit. I can go on vacation when I want and however long I want. I don't have to wait or get approval from a boss for two weeks at a time or something like that. But then the day, of course, it's still a business, still my business. I'm not going to be gone for a long period of time because, you know, I need to be here for my clients and I do like what I do. I don't feel like I need to have a vacation for my life or for my job, but it's always nice to get away, de-stress and just do nothing for a little bit. I'm my own boss, so that's really nice because I can control what I want to do and when I want to do it. Of course, this can also be a double-edged sword because double-edged sword because it's almost like, you know, you really have to hold yourself accountable. Number six, I help people in ways I never even imagined. Like there's some people who struggled with getting pregnant and then they literally saw me twice and they were able to get pregnant. Um, there's also some people who their kids um, saw me training their parents and now love exercising and do it all the time. So oftentimes the things you do have a ripple effect in this industry and it's a beautiful thing. Number seven, cancellations are oh so bittersweet. So when you wake up in the morning to a text or phone call from a client saying, oh my gosh, I can't make it, this and this came up, it's like, oh, I get to sleep in. But sometimes it's like, okay, that spot could have gone to somebody else or if they cancel within 24 hours, you know. I can't receive my income from that client anymore. So, you know, it's bittersweet, but it's always nice <laughs> to know that you have that flexibility. Because if you go to call from work one day and your boss is just like, yeah, you don't have to come in today, don't worry about it. I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone would be like, okay, nice, sweet, I get to take a little break. And the most obvious thing is I get to do something I love. Like I've always liked exercising, I've always liked moving. I got honors in gym class, it's been into sports and activities for me, so this is something I enjoy. I've had clients be like, like how do you do this all day? It's because, well, I like it. <laughs> and there is no judgment. Um, oftentimes, you know, we are all in a safe space, and I'm an in-home personal trainer, right? So I'm going into their home, into their space, and there's no judgment at that point, ever, really, because I'm here to be on their team, to work together, so we're just trying to do as best as we can and it's just a judgment-free zone and a safe space because you want to be positive and of course you can't be positive all the time but you just want to be happy on your journey and accept the hurdles that come with it and yeah, I think that's what really makes my job beautiful. We're just all trying to work together and not judging if you, you know, gained an extra pound or feel like you can't fit into your clothes as much. Like, I'm here to help. That's my job. I'm not here to add stress to any of my clients' lives. I say that all the time. It's like my motto, but it's true. Like, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to stress you out. I'm here to help and I'm here to de-stress you. I'm not like selling this miracle drug really i'm just selling exercise health and nutrition my clients inspire me so 
they have asked me questions that I don't have the answer to, for instance, and I look to find it, or I see them try something new that I've never tried before, or I tell them to do an exercise and they kind of switch it up and do it a different way, even unintentionally, and I'm just like, oh wow, that's actually, I like that. So they can inspire me to do other things, learn new things, and just be the best personal trainer that I can be. Working as a team. So this is the beautiful thing that personal training is. like. I think a lot of people have that misconception that like, oh, okay, maybe you're like a Julia, Jillian Michaels kind of trainer where, you know, we push you so hard to the point where you're like puking or throwing up. And of course, it's not necessarily, I don't want to say that's wrong, but every trainer is different. So I tell this to my clients all the time, we're going to work as a team. I'm not going to be here to necessarily force you to do this, tell you not to do that. We're just trying to work together so that we can get you to the same or we can get you to the goal you'd like to reach because of course the less resistance with each other the better and the more we work together the easier this is going to be and the more success you're going to achieve. Another thing I enjoy about this is that oftentimes when a client has a physio or a chiropractor or some other health professional, I can reach out to them and we can discuss certain things um, in terms of the client's progress, struggles, weaknesses, strengths, and work on getting the client where they need to be as a team. So working with other health professionals is a beautiful thing. And if you're a personal trainer you're watching this and you know a client has another health professional that's working with them, I encourage you to reach out because it'll only help the client when they know that both of the health professionals are working for their greatest interest. It's like, you know, a team that's trying to build this client to be stronger, better, and healthier peek into different people's lives. So because I'm an in-home trainer, I'll go to people's homes. I've seen some beautiful houses, I must say, like mansions and like things I've just never seen before. And it's beautiful as well as just seeing into different people's like careers and lives. Like I've had, or I currently have like clients who are lawyers, some who are social workers, um, one who actually worked in film, which is quite interesting. And yeah, just a number of other things. So it allows you to see different aspects of people's lives and just learn different things. Gifts. So sometimes clients are so happy with just how things are going that they'll gift me things. And I don't want to say, oh, like, you know, I've gotten this and I've gotten that. Like, I feel so uncomfortable accepting gifts sometimes because it's just, I'm just doing my job, you know? Um, and whenever they give me a gift, I just have to give one back in return because I just feel, you know, like that's only fair. Like I just have to and they're awesome too. So sometimes it's like a gift given battle. Variety. So there's a lot of variety in the fitness industry, personal training in general. There's a variety of equipment and different things you can use. Battle ropes, resistance bands, dumbbells, BOSU. You got the ladder, you also got kickboxing, hit training, Tabata, Pyramid, and I can go on and on and on. So you'll never get bored and there's always going to be something new for a client to learn, whether it's changing the exercise, changing the piece of equipment, or changing the technique um, in which it's performed. I'm more than a personal trainer. Of course, that's what my title is. But at the end of the day, I do so much more. I do a lot of rehab exercises for clients. Of course, I'm not here to treat a client. That's more like a, the realm of physio. But at the end of the day, I do help clients who have knee replacement surgeries before and after, those who suffer from ACL or MCL tears, and who just have overall knee pain. So that's my specialty. I'm also a mediator sometimes. You'd be surprised. Uh, how family members can be when they know someone is trying to lose weight. Drop a comment below if you know exactly what I'm talking about, where I had one client, for instance, whose partner wanted them to run up hills and jump up and down. And this, this, this client of mine was over 300 pounds, so that's not what I would prescribe at all. You know, you got to go about training certain individuals a specific way. So, you know, sometimes family members think they know what's best and of course it comes from a good place and they're just trying to help. But sometimes you have to kind of be the middleman and try to appease to both sides and, and kind of keep the stress level low 
and yeah, it can be difficult at times. Why am I saying this like it's a con? I'm, at the end of the day, I'm more than a personal trainer and I like that. I'm a little bit of an investigator as well when a client, you know, tells me, oh, I'm doing everything right, but I'm not losing weight, then you're doing something wrong or your body's responding in a way it shouldn't be. So yeah, there's, there's a lot under this umbrella of personal training. There's a lot more to it. I also like busting myths or, you know, informing a client that what they think may be true may not be. And of course, I provide them with peer-reviewed articles and details so that they can see my viewpoint of what they believe to be true and what I believe to be true. But it's always interesting when a client believes like this is fact, like this is what I heard from the internet or from a TV show or from a friend. And then I give them the real data. Um, it's, it's, it's interesting to see their reaction and almost like this weight off their shoulders like, oh, okay, well then I can do this and I can maybe try this now. I don't have to be so restricted because with the fitness and health industry, there's a lot of, you know, you can't do this, you shouldn't do this. So, you know, oftentimes though, it's not as black and white and there is that gray zone. Not everything is seen as good and bad. There's more to it than that. Another nice thing is I get to wear fitness clothes all day and that's pretty cool. I don't need to worry about getting super dressed up. I can be comfortable and do as I please. Now with my industry specifically, in-home training is definitely a growing industry, especially during these times. We've gotten very busy and more and more people are unfortunately struggling with weight loss and more and more people are becoming obese and overweight so my job is of course to help those numbers go down and obviously I don't want to be busy in a way because I want people to be healthier but it keeps me busy. CECs. So this is continuing education credits. This is like a double-edged sword. I love this and I don't like it but I obviously more so love it. CECs basically mean you have to get a certain amount of points with each certified body that you're certified with. So I'm certified with ACSM, American College of Sports Medicine. You do need to obtain different levels of education, take different courses, do different things that can add to these points that will be reviewed by the end of the year or every three years or, or whatever your certification is. So I have to do a recertification and reevaluation every three years. So that gives me plenty of time to get my CECs. I forgot the amount that I need to have, but I'll put it here if I remember. And basically that just means you have to keep learning and that's always a good thing um, because it just makes you a better trainer in the end. And lastly, I learn a lot about myself. That's what I love about this industry, this job. I've learned, um, you know, the things that I'm great at, things that I'm not so great at. I've learned how to just be a better business owner overall. And yeah, I've just learned a lot at the end of the day, like, and I'm continuing to learn. Those are the 20 things I love about personal training. Let me know, did you relate to anything I said in this list? Do you have anything to add? Please like and leave a comment below, subscribe, and remember, begin your fitness and health journey today because nothing's in your way.